So you want to build an add-in for Microsoft Office, one that supports a variety of users. Let's say, for example, you're dealing with a anxious business user to a casual user, maybe at home, to a high-powered executive, to maybe another user who's out on the go, to a very standard business user uh, who, who's using Office every day for a variety of reasons. And to make it difficult, we're dealing with different versions of Office. The users each have different versions from 2000 to 2010. They're also using a, a variety of Windows and, the dot, and, and different versions of the .NET framework. And lastly, your development team hasn't standardized on a, on a single version of Visual Studio. They're using a variety of the different versions out there from 2005 to 2008 and to 2010. Well, there's news for you, great news, that you have found a friend here at Add-in Express who has the great idea of solving this problem for you to where you can take advantage of a great feature that they call version neutrality. So version, version neutrality with Add-in Express allows you to do something like take an add-in that you've developed for Microsoft Office using the Add-in Express toolset and support Microsoft Office versions 2000 through 2010. So any version as old as 2000 all the way up to 2010. That gives us 2002, also known as XP, 2003, 2007, and 2010. In addition, you can run the add-in on any version of Windows that supports the .NET framework from .NET 2.0 to 4.0. So in between 2.0 and 4.0, we have .NET versions 3.0 and 3.5, all fully supported. And lastly, we have Visual Studio version 2005 through 2010 fully supported also on the low end from the Express versions all the way up to the high end team system all fully supported so that means Express, Standard, Pro, Premium, Ultimate and team system all can run the add-in Express toolset for creating Office add-ins. A couple other points that I should mention is on the Office side it works as well with Standard, Home Edition all on the low end to the high end Ultimate versions so just the same thing with Visual Studio where at the low end you have Home here then things like Standard, Pro, Premium, Ultimate, etc. All fully supported. Doesn't matter what version of Office. What matters is that they, they support the COM add-in architecture available with Microsoft Office. One other last key point is the fact with Office 2010, Add-in Express allows you to build add-ins that support both the 32-bit and 64-bit architectures. That's version neutrality in a nutshell. So next what we'll do is I'm going to switch over to my desktop, my development environment, where I'm running really the latest and greatest. So I'm running Visual Studio 2010, Office 2010, and Windows 7 with the .NET 4.0 framework. But what we'll do is we'll build in that environment, and then we'll switch over to an earlier version of Office uh, where I'm still running Windows 7. But at least it's an earlier version of Office, Office 2003 in this case. And you can see just how quickly it is that I can build once and I can support multiple versions of Office, which is one of the most powerful features of the Add-in Express tool set. Okay, what I have here, this is my development environment with Windows 7, and I have open Visual Studio 2010 Ultimate, and what I'll do is create a new project, and we see in the recent templates area under, so I have Visual Basic, C Sharp, F Sharp, and other project types, and that's where we'll find, via the extensibility node, the ADX COM add-in template. I want to close out of here real quick and just show you, too, that inside of Visual Studio 2008, I'll do File, New Project, and we'll see that we have the same templates in the same node, so Visual Basic, C Sharp, other project types, extensibility. I also have the ADX COM add-in available to me right there. So we'll go back. Now let's just quick create a quick little add-in. And what I'll show you is how to build an add-in that one has a ribbon in Office 2010. And that ribbon will have a button. And when we click it, it'll just display a message box that shows us the host application name and the bit version of the application. And in addition, we will add a command bar that's supported in Office 2000 down to Office or up to Office 2007 and that command button will mimic what we do with the ribbon. I'll create a new add-in project by clicking File New Project from the Visual Studio menu which opens up the New Project dialog box and I'm already at the Extensibility node and I want to select the ADX COM add-in template. 
call this version neutral demo. I'll change the location real quick and say OK. Clicking OK brings up the new Microsoft Office Com Add-in Wizard. This is a wizard provided by the Add-in Express framework where I have two options on this initial screen. One, select the programming language and any language I have installed is enabled. In this case I have C Sharp and Visual Basic installed. I want to use C Sharp. Uh, and then also too on the interop assemblies, this is a big decision that you need to make early on. The minimum supported Office version Right now, the default is to support Office 2000 and higher. This is the option you want to select if you indeed want to support all Office versions 2000 and above and newer. But we have the option of saying we want to be specific to XP 2003, 2007, 2010. For this demo, I want to go ahead and select Office 2000 and higher and click Next. Next up, another important decision that you need to make early on is what applications do you want to support with this add-in. In this case, I could go ahead and select each and every one, which I'm going to do. I'm not going to show you it running in every one of these. We're going to use Excel uh, for demonstration purposes. But by enabling every button or checking off every button, this means that whatever application, each one of these applications, if the user has it installed, our add-in will work within it across all versions of Office, Office 2000 and up. So I'll click Next. I can uh, provide a strong name key or generate a new one, which is the default. I'm going to go ahead and choose that and click Finish, which will create our project inside of Visual Studio. Once Visual Studio creates the project, then we have available to us the add-in module, which is the main entry point for uh, all the add-in express objects and the way that we develop custom UIs inside of add-in express. There's other stuff that goes on there, and I recommend the other videos and articles we have on the blog. But for now, let's open up the add-in module in the designer, and we're going to create a ribbon and a command bar. We'll start out by creating the Office Ribbon tab, which I'm going to click this button in the designer's menu called Add ADX Ribbon Tab, which will add this control onto the designer. And notice down at the bottom, we have a visual designer where we can build out the tab. And I can also collapse it and expand it, make it bigger, however. So what we'll do, I'm going in the properties to change the caption. I'm going to leave the names of everything the same, but I will. Uh, change captions just to make it a little more friendly but we'll call this version neutral and I'll add a group we'll call this demo and then within this group I want to add a button that I will say I should say click me and that's great now with this button selected, I'll in here in the on click, I am just going to double click inside of the on click property to stub out one to open up the add-in module in code view and then also stub out the on click event. And really all I want this to do is to pop up a message box. So I'll do system windows forms. message box a show and we'll call it say host version we'll say this dot host major version and then we'll say bit version this dot host bitness okay now let's go back to the add-in module and we're going to create our ribbon not the ribbon but the a new command bar and what we'll do is select in the menu the add ADX command bar 
to add that element to the designer. Now down here below in the visual designer, I'll just add an ADX command bar button to the command bar. And now what I want to do, one, we'll change this command bar, change its name property to version neutral. And now for the command bar button, I want its caption to be the same as the one on the ribbon, so click me. Also, too, with, with the click me button selected, I'll move over to the events, and I'm just going to double click in this event to stub out the click event. And in lieu of creating a function so where I can just reuse this, I'm just going to copy and paste. Great. So now what I have, a fully featured demo add-in ready for us to build it and then install it to where that will run with, uh, say, Office 2010, which we're going to do right here in my development environment. And then I'll install it on an Office 2003 environment where you can see it run in Office 2003. Same code. It's going to be really impressive. So what I'll do is I will build the solution. It will take just a second. Now, because I have Office 2010 already installed, I don't really need to create a setup project and install it. I can handle everything from the development environment inside of Visual Studio by saying project, actually build, and register ADX project. And this will register the add-in inside of the Windows registry. Now that the add-in has been registered, let's go ahead and open up some of the Office applications within Office 2010 just so you can see it running. We'll start with Excel. And here we have the version neutral tab, just as we would expect with the demo ribbon group and the click me button, which properly shows us the host version as, as version 14 and the x86 or 32-bit version of Excel. I'll we'll close Excel. Now let's open up Word. I'm over, over delivering. I only promised to do Excel, but I think it's important to see it running across different Office applications. So version neutral, click me. Great and also for PowerPoint. I could run through every one, but I don't, I don't want to bore you. So here's version neutral and click me. Great. So next, what I'll do is fire up my Office 2003 environment and I'll install this add-in and then demo the same thing, but there's going to be one slight change, or maybe it's a major change, but either way, the ramifications for you as an Office developer supporting multiple versions of Office are huge. Here we are. This is my Office 2003 development environment. It's still running Windows 7, but we are running Office 2003. I have already gone ahead and installed the add-in, and let's get right to it and open up Excel 2003. And there you'll see our command bar with the Click Me command bar button uh, visible. And I can click on it. It's going to work just like it did in Office 2010. So I see the host version, except this time it's 11. Still, it's the same 32-bit or x86 architecture. And for fun, let's just move down the list. We'll see Word. There we go. Click me. Great. See the same information. And lastly, we'll do PowerPoint. And we'll click me. Yeah, there we go. Host version 11, bit version 80, x86. So there you see it, at least two different versions of Office. And the key point here is without any code, you notice in my source project inside of Visual Studio 2010, I set up a ribbon and a command bar. Add an Express handles for me displaying a ribbon where it's supported in the Office versions it's supported in and command bar buttons in the office version that's supported in. I didn't have to code that. I didn't have to do that myself. So version neutrality, it's also pretty smart as well in terms of when we're building things and we want to target different versions of office that we can build the, the objects in the UI the way we want and add an express. It's smart enough to display them in the versions that we want. We don't have to trap errors or anything like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, quick introduction to version neutrality that we can support Office 2000 
to 2010. We can support Windows, any version that will run the .NET Framework 2.0 to 4.0, and any version of Visual Studio 2005 to 2010 in whatever flavors you want, both you know Office and Visual Studio. So good luck out there building your add-ins.